The worst part, I think, was at night when I was facing traffic driving my automobile. The oncoming lights were a tremendous glare. And the traffic lights, they looked like it was Christmas the way they were glowing. Mr. Jenkins had discovered what millions of men and women all over the world discover every year, a cataract. Anyone can develop a cataract, regardless of age, race, or sex. Fortunately, surgical treatment of cataracts has become routine, with over a million surgeries performed each year in the United States alone. Cataract surgery has over a 95% success rate, and is in fact one of the most successful surgeries performed in medicine today. In order to understand how cataracts interfere with vision, let's look at a side view of how the eye works. In the normal eye, light enters through an outer layer called the cornea and passes through a transparent lens which focuses the light on a layer of nerves at the back of the eye called the retina. As long as the lens is clear, a sharp image can be formed. When the lens becomes clouded with a cataract, light cannot pass through as easily and the image you see becomes faint and hazy. Cataracts usually develop over several years and may cause few problems at first. But as the cloudiness spreads through the lens, you begin to have trouble seeing and doing the things that used to be easy. No one knows for sure what causes cataracts. Suspected links include heredity, ultraviolet light, reaction to drugs, or chemical changes associated with aging. Also, people with diabetes are especially at risk. They are three to four times as likely to develop cataracts as non-diabetics. A cataract may be so slight as to seem no worse than a smudge on your glasses. It may progress to the point where driving, close work, and reading is impossible. Or it may be so severe that you can only tell light from dark. It may take 10 years for a cataract to develop completely. Or it may take only a few months. The word cataract is actually an ancient Greek word for waterfall. People with cataracts see the world as if they were looking through a waterfall. During your examination, your doctor will test your vision to determine the magnitude of your cataract. Because a standard eye chart may not always give a true reading on how a cataract is affecting your vision, you may be given a contrast sensitivity test to determine the amount of interference the cataract is causing. Years ago, when cataract surgery was risky and such an ordeal to go through, surgery was usually delayed as long as possible usually until the cataract was ripe and the patient could no longer see at all. Today, that's no longer necessary. Cataract surgery can be done at any point. Generally, though, the time to get the problem cleared up is when the patient can no longer see well enough to do the things he or she wants and needs to do. Cataract surgery is a very delicate operation performed by your skilled surgeon viewing through a special operating microscope. The surgery is usually done on an outpatient basis and takes 20 to 40 minutes. However, you may be in the operating room for an hour or more, depending on the anesthesia your surgeon elects to use. The exact method of surgery may vary from one patient to the next. But the basic idea in cataract surgery is to make the smallest incision possible, remove the cataractous lens in whole or by fragmenting the lens by ultrasonic vibration. The natural lens is then usually replaced by an artificial lens. These implants, called intraocular lens implants, or IOLs, are used in practically every cataract procedure performed today. The power of this lens was determined in a test called an A-scan, which was done before surgery. In the past, thick and distorting cataract glasses or cumbersome contact lenses were used to correct vision after surgery. These are no longer necessary. However, even with an intraocular lens, it will probably be necessary to have a regular pair of glasses to fine-tune your vision after surgery.
Although the thought of having surgery can be frightening, be assured that it's a short and virtually painless process. You should be aware, however, that as in any surgical procedure, the possibility of complications during and after surgery always exists. Such complications are infrequent and can usually be dealt with at the time of surgery. These complications include loss of vision, loss of eye, hemorrhage, infection, cystoid macular edema, retinal detachment, IOL removal, corneal clouding, chronic inflammation, astigmatism. If you would like additional information on this topic, please be sure to ask. It will take about three months for your eye to heal completely, so you should expect some blurriness of vision at first. As long as you follow your doctor's directions on caring for your eye as it heals, you'll have few restrictions on your activities. With modern surgical techniques and your full cooperation, your vision should be as good as new before you know it. <laughs>